Devils, welcome. As you'll notice, you're very clean-eyed. We are not in the Devils' lair. We're sat in the back of Adam's local habitat. Isn't that right, Adam? Yeah, the pub. loves it. Yeah, I don't buy in my show. Uh, <laughs> right, we have Mad, who is Moyes out. Mac, who is Moyes in, and Adam Crofton from the Daily Mail. Good evening. Good evening, Adam. Uh, right, this is officially a crisis. We are out of every competition. We're not going to make fourth place. We're about to head out of the Champions League, and you still think this man deserves a job? Tell us why. I believe. If we would, obviously last, last week, mm -hmm. my opinion was a whole lot different because we hadn't just lost to Olympiacos. But anyway, so um, I your, believe... That, that game has changed your mindset? Yeah. Um, so you, are you still Moyes in? Yes. I will never say, I will not say Moyes out. I support Moyes. Um, I support Manchester United and I won't turn my back on anything like that. But basically, David Moyes has, up until the end of the season, to at least show to me he knows what he's doing. He knows there's a plan in place. And I think there's, I'm going to say the word again, Sam. I think there's a lot of different variables to it as to why Manchester United haven't been performing. But David Moyes has his faults yeah. um, and he has to address them at least before the end of the season so we can go into the summer confident that he is the man to lead us forward. So you're not confident anymore? You don't totally believe that David Moyes is the man uh, to take United onto a new glorious dynasty? I'm kind of sitting in the unknown right now. Okay. I do support David Moyes. I do still believe... He has some good aspects to his, to his management that will be, make him a success at United. But one of the main aspects and one of the most crucial aspects as a manager is tactically and your man management. And I believe his man management has kind of been poor, partly. If you look at Zaha, Rooney, yeah. Yanazai, it's been pretty good. But then his tactics have been poor. So I believe he has to improve on that up until the end Big of the season to prove switch. to me. Mad, way in. Crisis, well, what crisis? Well, you know, since the beginning, I've been Moyes out. Um, regardless of what you say, transition, new manager, whatever. The champions last year, you cannot forget that. That is what the champions last year. 11 points. Yeah. 11 and points. this season, out, out of the FA Cup to Swansea, out of the League Cup to Sunderland, and most probably out of the Champions League to Olympiacos. Now, those are not world-beater teams, right? And also, and, he's Scottish, David Moyes, so he should know <laughs> The English players can't take penalties. <laughs> what was he thinking with Danny Welbeck and Phil Jones? He so, didn't know that. Don't say so, nothing about that guy. So, so, so there, 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 there's no plan in place. There's no, there, 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 there's no philosophy. There's no progress. It's just going downhill, downhill. And people say there's a transition. There is a transition. The transition has been from good to bad to worse. And it can only go I disagree downhill. with that a little bit. Um, simply because his tactics at times this season this is, what, this is what really is doing my head in. The fact that Arsenal, tactically spot on, got the three points, ground it out. Typical Manchester United performance. Leverkusen away, counter-attacking at its best. We ripped them apart, 5-0. Easy does it. But then at home, we can't break teams down at home. We're struggling and we're playing some, some game that where, the, where the players are like, all right, you're telling me to cross the ball into the box. This is what I'm going to do, David. I'm going to cross the ball into the box all day long just to piss you off. He loves and that's it. what they've been doing. He loves it. David Moyes is telling those players to do that. Whatever is happening on the pitch, David Moyes is telling those players to do that. So like, like he said, that against Leverkusen and Arsenal, why didn't we carry on with those philosophies in other games? The reason why the philosophy changed, David Moyes, for that, the next game, the next game said, we're playing like this against Fulham. He's the one who told the players, go out and cross the ball and play this. The team selection, that's how he set the team up. That's why you're seeing Jekyll and Hyde performances from the team, from players, or some players like Tom Cleverley have come in for a lot of stick every game. But some players, one game they play okay, one game they are pulling. That's because David Moyes Actually is young. playing that. Yeah. Anyone else? <laughs> no? Uh, what you got to say to that? Appalling, Jekyll and Hyde. Your mum. You know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? Ashley Young was one of our best players against Olympiacos. And so good. he was five out of ten. This is what I'm saying, like, you can't point the blame all at David Moyes simply because the players have not pulled their weight this season. His, I mean, that is literally... Yes, his, I know Crofton, what you're going to say. But Adam, this is surely David Moyes' job, isn't it? Make the players perform. That's what he's there for. It is, but the players also have their own responsibility to show themselves on the pitch and to take pride in their own performances. I mean, these are, ser these are serious footballers that have won, you know, a number of Premier League titles, three Champions League finals in some cases, and they've got to be doing more than what they are. Whatever you say about the manager, once they go out onto the pitch, they have their own professional pride. I think what's concerning for United supporters 
and as we observe is that there seems to be a lack of any philosophy. We don't know what David Moyes is working towards. We don't know what, what in, David, in the mind of David Moyes, what he wants this team to be in two or three years' time. But when I'm watching United, I don't see what David Moyes' goal is, how he wants them to be playing. And also, I mean, when you think at the, even the signings he's brought in, if you look at Marwan Fellaini and Juan Mata, it's not indicative of a philosophy. No, it's like contra completely contrasting so players. This count matter as a, as a signing. No, but then you've got to look at Manchester United fans. Just in case people wonder why I say that, it's because it's such a unique case in that Mata yeah. wanted to leave specifically because he wasn't playing and he wants World Cup football and he wants to stay in the Premier League. It wasn't that we looked at a player and chased him for six months and signed him. Liverpool would have took him. Any club would have taken him. And he yeah, would have gone there. Are yeah, yeah, exactly. we going to get a player is, of the calibre of one Mata in the, in the summer transfer window, if we're not in the top four and results carry on as they are, David Moyes is the manager, are we going to get players of one man's Madge, calibre? if I asked okay. you, yeah, if I asked you in the summer, we're going to get our first two signings under David Moyes, Fellaini and Mata, what would you yeah, have done? Yeah, exactly, but that's what I'm saying. You can't really argue that because Mata didn't come. For, but he did. He, he wasn't but at the end of the, of the day, there was no plan if he did it, Mata. It, he just became available, so we snapped him up. But how do you know that? Like, the how do you, you know? How, it's true. But it, like, it's, he's Matter still signed for Manchester United. Yeah, it's if, he did, if he signing. wasn't confident in David Moyes and he wasn't yeah, confident David yeah, Moyes yeah. could bring the best out of him, then he wouldn't have signed for Manchester United because at the end of the day, he wants to play in the World Cup, yeah. right or wrong. Totally so, agree. But he knows he's going to play. But as yeah, you said, he, he doesn't know he's going to play. He could have gone to Liverpool. He could have gone to. Like, if the exactly. clubs would have wanted him, he would have gone there. And he, but he was happy to come to United. That's a great thing. I tip my hat, David Moyes, that one matter. I'm just saying. It's not like he's like with, Fab, like with Fabregas. He said, right, we need a central midfielder. He went for Fabregas and he wanted to buy him. It's not like that with Mata. Mata became available, so we bought him. We didn't go after him. Would you credit Fergie with getting Robin Van Persie? Yeah, because we. Well, but he kind of came available as well because he wanted to win trophies. So Fergie went and got him. Yeah, but we had. It's the, like yeah, while Mata became similar, available, similar. we went right. and got him. I'm going to shut you up. Oh, shut up. We're going to carry on. Uh, watch the second video. There'll be a link to it on your screen somewhere. If not, get on YouTube full time, Devils, <laughs> and it will be there. Uh, we'll see you in five. What we're saying is, is David Moyes at fault? And you say Fergie has to take some responsibility, but only because he picked David Moyes. What about the fact that he didn't sign any central midfielders? He hey, can that, I, can that, I just... That, 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 was David Moyes, that was David Moyes had the summer transfer window. Like Fergie to, had three to, years to, before to, that, to, where Scholes was coming to, to an end, and we needed yeah, one. Yeah, and he but didn't do we, it. we won the league title. 